well. So the fact that they're still sticking with CS and like battling through these tournaments makes it very exciting. Yeah, I love the dedication to the game. As we do see a dedication on towards this B site. I mean, he's going to be pushing straight into what well, pretty much seems to be a trap. Maybe able to get the bomb down here in the midst of all of this, though. And the bomb does get planted, but they're all surrounded. They're like fish in a barrel right now. This should be a really easy full retake for fours, and they will get it without losing a single player here. So it looks like things have kicked off in favor of fours here on our second map of the day. And they're going to need to. They want to take it to a third and final map. Yeah, solid start, but as we know... See, the, the thing is, normally I'd look at this... Also of this Namiga roster here. Almeza in a very good position as well. MDS looking to try and lead in, but J.O., he's found that trade. 10 seconds left, and they have not even got close to the site. It's going to be one man standing. J.O. will just have to fall back. And yeah, this was a, a very labored round from Namiga. I almost think that they were expecting more aggression out from fours. And I believe this is just a uh, rush B, no stop. Jerry going to come down to a lot of pressure. Nate comes through. He has an all three oh, they're players, gonna win. They're gonna into win. the gallery. They get the kill, oh. the tech nine, they get the gun, and they have two players left to defeat on this site before they can take it. The ball down, speed up! Oh. Come on, turn around! Hello, Kenzie! How do they get away with this much? They can't keep getting away with it. Like, it, it's so <laughs> frustrating. Like, <laughs> this is not the buy you should make. Completely didn't work out. The pistol round completely didn't work out on a B hit, and then it just somehow works the third time. I guess I guess it's true. The third time, <laughs> and, and then for the rest of the game, fours are just gonna be like, are they on eco? I don't know. Are they ever truly Flip. on eco? I flip. Go on. A fours gonna do it back. Let, let's get the punish. Break them back. They're sat on the site. They've got pretty much everybody here. Speedak is gonna manage an entry, but surely they won't expect two players to be lurking around the truck. This is a bait and switch. The second player should be a complete... I thought we got away from all this madness when we uh, stopped casting Asian Counter-Strike, but it seems to have uh, followed us here as fours. We'll get the round back again with just the pistols. The hit with the deagle like we saw MDS do before. And Lollipop trying to cause a bit of a distraction, a bit of a kerfuffle over towards the B site. How does he what? get that shot onto Jerry? Why would you ever expect a boost there? Oh, yeah, no. It's, it's oh not, no. not the most oh, common no. boost. They line up. Oh, he actually gets traded out. I thought he'd get away with that for sure. And Kenzie, he's managed to save. Left for an Amiga. Kenzie's going to be Molotov off towards Banks. We can't stop the plant. Good play so far out of MDS. But they're going to need these kills. They have a man coming in from behind. One from the front. They're coming in from every direction. And Kenzie, he gets the final two kills of the round. Big round here for Kenzie. As he gets himself four in total. Honestly, you talk about you know the newcomer to the team. Uh, a very well be the one pushed up towards birthday party. He's gonna have some attention. Okay. Ooh. MDS, great shot out of him to stop. This is where it becomes a battle that I'm not sure is worth taking anymore. Because the fact that he's consistently having to switch between two angles means that there's a much higher chance of him losing the jewel. It comes close, and now Almeza has to be the hero once again. Now, there are... I think they're gonna go for the latter or not. No, they're still gonna try and push the B site. He has to get a kill then, which he will. Mazer gets himself a double and a third Ooh. as well. Don't tell me again he can pull this off. It seems like Namiga are really just giving up a lot of real estate. They're banking on this beat hit. And here we go. Box going to lead the charge. The MAC-10 gets the first. Sprays around towards the second. But Amazer again. This guy almost single-handedly holding on towards bomb sites will eventually be picked off. But Kenzie now not able to get the double spray down. And it comes down to the two-on-two. Two. But Jerry, he's in behind them. Beth would be happy indeed if he can pull this off. But... He gets around the corner. The first kill comes through. Bomb gets planted, and Zorte will close out the final. Force again, anyway. It, it does seem like it's getting to the point where they're going to put themselves out of the match. But again, it all it takes is just one conversion. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> well, I misunderstood. Get yourself then. some skin upgrades. <laughs> I misunderstood. Well, my bad. <laughs> I'm just going to not talk for a second here. Well, uh, you take this away, Tom. Oh, uh, well, it is looking like the same troubles are occurring over on the B site as MDS was in the spawn. And he is going to go rolling on to find the kill onto Jerry. At the same time, when he micromanages normally suffers individually, he's 8 and 4 right now. At least four rounds are won with pistols. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, it wasn't a clean win by any stretch of the imagination. Jerry, though, he's going to be caught off. Zorte with the re-aggression. 
a decent trade the open out playing on the b side although i don't know how long that will last he may end up rotating the thing is they're not really putting any pressure on the a side so for someone like flip you mentioned it he's been able to stay very very aggressive a little bit lucky to get away with that kill but it means that they can just stack up on the other side of the map. Kenzie still waiting for this push to come in. He spotted the shadow, means he can pre-fire, but Lollipop quick to trade. Normally the entry fragger for the squad. Hit and miss, to say the least, as he has just a single frag. Lollipop, though, will trade out once again. Leaving From heaven. He's been on quite a roll. He might be able to do it yet again. Here's both players looking away from the second he peeks. His teammate goes in, he goes for the spray, but only can catch onto MDS. The roster and has been for quite a while is a lot of the time they're very one-dimensional. Like uh, when it comes to skill, it's off the charts. And uh, that's the thing. When you have a man like Lollipop who can just walk into a site and just absolutely slaughter everyone, sometimes strategy goes out the window. That is back to back. Uh, a pretty brutal first half, Jason. But right now, if, if they get a round or two more, they're in a very good spot. Don't check short though, as they swing out. So that's Lolly. With his right hand side, he's gonna spot out another player. Ooh! Oh! It hurts my eyes. I don't want to pick this up. <laughs> that was awful. Oh. Well, Jo, he's trying to save them here. The Estonian leaves it on to MDS, and what is going on? Have they just like? Oh, they're going to rush into B side again. You know what? Why not? It's worked in the past. You get the lineup on a two. Box is able to get one as Amazer trades out. And you can see MDS just charged immediately in towards water as well. And they completely overwhelmed the B side. However, fours have their last two members here over towards short already. Oh, my. I played towards connector, which they're reading into perfectly here. The push is coming directly towards B out of fours. And they're trying to connect these initial shots as Lollipop. Well, he's immediately finished off. And this is going to be just completely overwhelming on the B side yet again. Fours, they won the pistol round CT side. And they're sure as hell going to win the pistol round T side. Unless they keep offering these 1v1s against MDS. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, if that curse continued to push in towards that B site. And I think Namiga are getting a little bit antsy towards A, though. As you can see them pushing up towards playground. And Box will uh, pay the ultimate price here. Oh, surely not. Surely, someone's going to check this. Lads! Uh, 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 someone! Oh, no, why did uh, you just shoot that? Oh my goodness, it's actually working out for them as well. They've got this back into a 3v3. What? He's hit another one while I'm running. Problem, and mate, go back to the P250. Trust me, it works better. <laughs> I can hear a bank somewhere in the back of my head shouting. The nade comes in, it stops the bomb plant <laughs> from going down, and Kenzie with the AK tries to fake it out, and the MP5 gets its third kill ever in competitive play. The fountain. You see again the confidence carried over into this round. Box pushed up. Gets the kill onto the Tech 9. Doesn't want to lose this weapon as he's an AK or towards Rocket Long now. But he's got two different angles to cover. Luckily, he does have Speed Act here to help him out with the crossfire. And Kenzie falls to a Molotov? Yeah, looks like it. Wait, they're You're still... just relying on instant entries. You got 10 seconds. You you have to kill Lollipop within one, and they failed. Like, I, I it just to force him into a corner, trap between a Molotov and multiple players. I think he's dead here. What is this? How does he get away with anything? Runs through a Molotov and then manages to get a kill. This game is manic and he's dead. He has to be dead. Finally, Kenzie puts him down. They had him trapped for ages, but... Oh, it took them a while. Good kill out of Jerry, though. They do have the A site completely open because everyone's rotated back towards B. Flick gets the kill on the box again. Puts him at a massive man advantage. Four on two as J and MDS, the last two alive. The money. Rough times here for Namiga. And four is... I don't know. I want to say, like, getting... Not necessarily a little bit lucky, but a lot of individual plays shining through in that round. Like Jerry getting that kill, I believe that was over towards the ace that really opened things up. They caught Namiga on a, a more of a B stack. Where you go, okay, we're gonna we're gonna lock that one down, or we're gonna have rotations. And I do think even one of the things with Haven, the map that has the three. No, I mean <laughs> I, I, I agree. Too. I agree. Like <laughs> obviously abilities of Valorant make it easier to retake or defend this just comes down to pure right or pass is that it's very reminiscent to inferno where you can attack both sites so quickly if you just rotate 
And we haven't seen those rotations come through at a T side. It's been mostly committals out of them. And well, Jerry gets the first one on the MDS lollipop. Well, they hear the bomb being planted, but he's got to worry about this op towards monster. Somehow this has ended onto Jo. I don't think they have any idea oh, that he's oh. here. They line up for him. A double at least brings it just to Jerry, and he comes so close. Ash played by a box, but as the execution comes in onto the A site, they have got to get this kill. And really, they need it clean, and that's exactly what they'll get. So much pressure alleviated with that kill coming through, that we're going to see Flit try to rotate through bathrooms to punish them from behind. But the site has been taken, so the bomb should be planted here. It comes down to that retake potential, and the utility for Namiga, well, it's not really going to be there. And Flit comes in at the perfect time, and a great double kill comes in as well. These things all in J.O. and MDS. Now, MDS position has been given up. J.O. needs this kill. He's at least able to force Zorte out of position. Not able to capitalize off that just yet, but MDS to sacrifice himself, picking up the one kill. The P2K coming out in the one-on-one, -on -one, and Zorte can't seem to hit a shot, but neither can J.O. Time is taken away. The Malta comes in to force him out of position, and Zorte gets the kill with the Glock. Sad in again. Amiga have shown they're not afraid to get aggressive and look for early information. Problem is, going to be up against Zorte on the AWP, and he's going to fall. I'd be surprised if that wasn't the case. Kenzie is going to go through and actually a flip will sit inside because the fade should work out in his favor, especially if he can work out where J.O. is going to be standing. And I have no idea why he's decided to turn his back to the smoke while actually peeking in, bringing it back into a 3v3 situation. And now there's a real opportunity here as Lollipop finally gets himself a second kill in this half, make it a third. There's always a round that he seems to take over, but he goes in with the USP. He's given Flit an opportunity. Is he going to stay? Is he going to back away? He's going to still hold this tight angle, but the fire is going to give up his position. Great pay can be the case, but not really been a success story, that's for sure. J.O. definitely been a lot better in the second half, though. They're going to need him to be once again. The first goes his way, but a retreat seems unlikely. And even with his teammate just around the corner, it won't matter too much. Speedak now has to try and make a play of his own. And there are going to be multiple players here. He has to be careful. Flit is going to be dropped, so they'll know he's here. And now Speedak steps up to the plate. A double kill for the man on the right. <laughs> what? what is that from Zorte? Straight through the wall. Clears out the man behind. And now MDS, who's had time to rotate in. Lollipop there alongside him. Sneaking out of the bank. Through the smoke he goes. An easy kill onto the first. And knows where the last man is. Back to the USP once again. This time it works out. I wonder if he even saw him at all. I mean, Speedak was playing it perfectly, right? He gets the, the initial kill. Onto, I believe it was Kenzie coming up the stairs from Connector. On this T side very early on, they're actually being a lot more proactive this time and looking to clear Box out. He gets the dink and the kill onto one. Basically, he has to get a kill here. And the off angle being held from MDS, it's going to make things fairly awkward. And there you go, MDS will win that kill without too much of a problem. It hasn't pulled any rotations off. Speedak still watching towards Long. J.O., he's going to try and block the smoke a little bit to give him an angle, but there's nothing coming through Long. They're all making their way through middle. Round the banana they go. Speed at good position to deny another. J.O., an easy cleanup. Make sure he gets teammates back. I think it comes down if Speed at can hit this shot. There we go. Zorte's going to fall. Early man advantage. If he can just back away and stay alive, this should be a clean round here for Namiga. But who knows? Box now back to that aggressive setting. Spots out the first and... Amazer's going to fall. So again, now two men in favor of Namiga. As Jerry's going to make his way up by himself. D oh, don't tell me he finds a window here. He knows there's at least two towards long. There's no one in CT. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if he'll know there's a second player. That's the only problem, actually. He looks back, but luckily Geo is there. And now they're even going to be there to deny the default plant spot. And in fact, Kenzie's being burnt. Somehow, off the corner of the Molotov, Speedak with a re-peak puts him down and flip. No choice, he's got to try and save, and they're going to hunt him. They've got the money that they can risk this as Speedak go away. The few fake nades, the push that came through, has given them an opening here. MDS and Lollipop going to be left with a lot to do. MDS, he finds a first, but he's actually caught by Flip. This could be the beginning of the end. J.O. can only find one on the re-peak, and now Box and Speedak are left to try and clutch. Oh, massive kill at a speed act as well. Kenzie could have shut that push down and got themselves one step closer. Now down to the two on two and Box can be pushed in. He has a chance to get aggressive here, but will he expect Jerry to be tucked in so close towards him? Jerry's going to go for the peak and Jerry gets taken down. 
Now it's all on Flit. The person I'd want in this clutch, in this situation, in a one-on-two. He's got big kills to pull off here. The first player is going to push in. He gets in directly behind them. The bomb's going to be tapped, but he's not going to be stuck. He spots the player over towards short. He gets the kill as well. And can he spray down with low HP left? And Box will get the kill, but will he have the time? And that's going to be an overtime. I never expected that to happen with how that round... A proper trap being set. Clearly expecting them to go too long, and then Box is actually going to peek. A bit lucky with the timing. Do they expect the second player? Lollipop short. Is he actually going to battle for this versus an AWP? Surely not. Surely not. Okay. Thank God. Nice work from MDS, but he's going to get slaughtered on the re-peak. And J.O., we know he's tagged low. How many players are they going to catch with Nate's up? But Amaza snaps back. Three HP is all he had. Good rotation from Speedak. I think he spotted the player on the site. They might not have expected him to get towards Graffiti. Hot flash going to be thrown, but the shot will give him away. A lot of pop just runs in there. Said that to his team in a, <laughs> a pretty clutch situation. That, that, that's actually true. He, he told us in the interview once. It blew my mind. And backing. But, Bidak, it seems like he's made a oh, pretty no. good read. He should hear the footsteps. That should be a freebie kill. Can he get away? He actually does. The dodge somehow manages to dance his way out of there. And now Speedak falls to flit anyway. I don't know how there wasn't more kills actually in that sort of scenario. He did waste a lot of time though. So 30 seconds now on the clock. It has to be a quick push coming in from the T side. Box, again, caught in an aggressive spot, and Lollipop has to go for something a little bit more risky because of it. His teammate's very far away, and Lollipop, he's doing it all on his own. 19 seconds, he drops his third kill. Mentioned him going quiet, but he's come up big in the most important round, leaving Kenzie all alone. 10 seconds, Molotov will force him out, but he has to stick this plant, and Lollipop is going to claw on here. They've thrown the smoke down to bait them. That, that's a man advantage. Another kill's come in elsewhere. Lollipop finding a frag. And now they don't have to be aggressive anymore. Time. And I do. They should be able to pull this off as well. Lollipop getting a good angle. Gets the first kill on Jerry. And Zorti's going to respawn. But he's going to have four more players to find. He's got to pull off an ace with only 18 seconds left to win this round. Well, there's a second. He's not going to expect another player here, certainly. Oh, no, he should. No, no, she shouldn't because MDS never got shot off a bullet. And there we go. Just trying to buy some time. He gets another kill, but it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> well, no surprises, Jason. It's going to be a push into the B site. Now, this is something I feel like Fours should have predicted, but it might not seem to matter. Jerry, at least, will bring one back into their favor. Making this round at least look possible. The bomb is going to be planted. Maybe a few spam shots coming in, but Speedax is going to try and use this to his advantage. Gain some ground. Lollipop actually just goes jumping over the top. The box is going to be the one to fall. However, it doesn't seem to matter too much. Zorte left alone. He has to smoke the Molotov and turns this into a 1v2. It's at least doable, but unlikely. And Speedax.